In July of 2017, the position of mayor of the city of Lebanon became available, and with the support of his family, he decided to apply for the position. On September 25th of 2017, Jared was sworn in as the mayor of the city of Lebanon. On a personal note, I'm just telling you, working with him has been a pleasure, and he has really got us moving forward. So please welcome the mayor of Lebanon, Jared Carr. I'm just going to dive right into it. It's kind of long. So um, when I took office as mayor of September 2017, probably had a fewer, fewer less wrinkles on my face and a little bit more vigor in my step. Um, but I accepted the opportunity to serve Lebanon because I love Lebanon. My family has been a part of this great community for several gener generations. Um, Today is actually my grandpa's birthday. He would have been 94 or 6, 96 years old today. So uh, we've been around this community and have been a part of this and are, are proud to call this our home. Um, as I have continued to serve, I've realized that youthful vigor, vigor and the love that I have for Lebanon has only increased as Lebanon has seen a new beginning. We are in the midst of a new era of partnership between our citizens, leaders, and area officials in moving Lebanon forward for success. As I begin to share more about where we've been over the last year and where we hope to go, I would be remiss not to acknowledge the members of the City Council. Our Council has a shared vision of progress and has been committed to moving the City forward. I also want to acknowledge the members of the City staff who, are, who have implemented this vision on behalf of the council. We are here, we are also pri privileged to have county officials, especially presiding commissioner Randy Angst, I saw him somewhere in here, back right there in the back, and Sheriff, Sheriff David Millsap, he's right over here, who hold the shared vision of our community. I'd also like to thank our leg state legislative uh, delegations I think they have also demonstrated their commitment to our area. And through all these partnerships, people will not only improve, through, through these partnerships, people will not only improve the lives of Lebanon, Lebanon's residents, but also of our region. Today, I acknowledge this commitment, but before continuing, I want to recognize our most important partners, our residents, <coughs> customers, and business leaders, who have been supportive, supportive of the progress and momentum that is occurring. <coughs> I appreciate the Lebanon Rotary Club for hosting today's address. A successful future is the byproduct of our community members, churches, pastors, civic organizations, nonprofits, and business leaders working together to move Lebanon forward. We would not be successful as we are without these vital partnerships. <clears throat> Today, it is my privilege to proclaim the state of Lebanon is strong and will continue to be strong as we partner together and to continue moving Lebanon forward for success. Now, all cities face good times and bad times. Thankfully, we are living in one of those good periods. But even when times are good, there is always more work to do. Today, I hope to highlight a few of our accomplishments from the last year and bring attention to some of the great things that we have coming. 2018 was a year of action in the city of Lebanon. It was a year that seemed to bring with it a renewed sense of purpose, the dawning of a new era, if you will. A year ago, we welcomed our new city administrator, Michael Shoemaker, to the organization. And Mike immediately went to work implementing <coughs> council's vision and rallying our dedicated city staff together to heal the wounds of the past and begin working as a cohesive body to help usher in this new era of progress in Lebanon. And Mike, thank you very much for that. And thank you to the city staff here. I think they deserve a round of applause. Also in 2018, our customers took part in a direction finding survey that has helped provide a better sense of where Lebanon stands and where our customers want to go. Using this information, the council and myself have crafted a living five-year plan to help move the organization forward. 
Also last year, our residents renewed our capital improvement tax, and this is gonna provide funding for the next decade. This revenue source has been a crucial source of funding to maintain and improve safety and security in the city, all while improving the quality of life for our residents. This past October, community members, officials, and officials from across the Missouri gathered at the Lebanon Fairgrounds as we dedicated the new Lebanon Agricultural Legacy Center. This facility is one of the many amenities we have been able to provide through the capital improvement tax. And our plan is to continue improving all of our city amenities. Conversations have already begun to realize the next phase of improvements in our city. In the future, we can expect to see an improved Civic Center offering more services to our customers, a much more attractive farmer's market, which we're actually working with uh, MFA, many of you don't know, and uh, with their tragedy that they're building, struck their building and uh, lost their facility. So we're working with them to coordinate together so they can, they can look similar or in architecture and, and design, uh, which will be a great uh, staple to downtown and the farmer's market. We're also working on improving public safety uh, or adding a public safety facility on the west side of town, making our customers safer. <coughs> Through the help of, with uh, Chief Halstead, we've instituted a night watch program in our police department that has helped increase the sense of security for our business owners. There's rarely a week that passes that our police department is not recognized for this effort. Many of you may have received a card on your on the front of your businesses, um, and that is that is that means the police are checking that out every night, um, and they do. I don't know how many they've done. A couple thousand of those that they've of the night watch, and that's a, a brilliant idea. Love it. They've also implemented a neighborhood watch program that is certain to help reduce crime and build a stronger sense of community within our neighborhoods. Our fire department, with the help of Chief Snyder here has resurrected its free smoke detector program. And hundreds of smoke detectors have been installed in homes all around the city. Public Works Department, see Richard back there over there, continues to serve our customers providing clean water, quality utilities, improved roadways, and clear signage throughout the community. We have witnessed community engagement increase as organizations have embraced our improved Adopt-A-Street program with innovative options to raise funds for nonprofits, all while keeping Lebanon cleaner and reducing costs to taxpayers. Several of our parks have benefited from new signage, lighting, safety, and playground equipment as part of uh, John's, John and the Park Board's vision to make our, our parks cleaner and 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 safer at night and for the citizens to feel safer there. Our finances are healthy with an award-winning staff leading the way in cutting costs, developing a five-year financial forecast for the organization that supports our goals and direction. Our staff members are now benefiting from an employee assistance program and our leadership has encouraged risk-taking and forward innovative thinking. It's an environment, environment where creativity thrives and ideas are awarded, rewarded. As tourism grows, I think I saw Nicole somewhere around here. There she is. As tourism grows, we've increased our marketing of Route 66 and we'll soon be launching a new website highlighting the best of Lebanon. This last year, we have witnessed our economy grow and unemployment is at record lows. For 2018, it was 3.7%. This is our best year since 2000 when it was 3.8%. We also have a labor force that is currently setting at around 17,000, which is the highest since 2008. Jobs are abundant, industries are expanding, STEM or science, technology, engineering, and math is the wave of the future, and our school district and institutes of higher learning are embracing this and providing more technical education opportunities than ever before. We have successfully partnered with Laclede County to implement a new text messaging alert system for both the city and council. 
Many of you have signed up for that, and I think that has been a fantastic way to communicate with the public. A new and an innovative downtown development board has been charged with the task of creating a roadmap for growth and development. We have a team of dedicated stakeholders working to make this plan and implementation a reality. In 2019, it is our goal to improve downtown Lebanon and are optimistic that an attractive pavilion, as I mentioned before, will be completed for the farmer's market. Furthermore, we are close to implementing Wi-Fi throughout the downtown business district, creating a unique experience for a downtown area. Ultimately, we hope to see an invigorated downtown Lebanon, a safe, thriving downtown where families can shop, eat, and have a good time. It is our goal to improve our youth sports program and increase the amenities of our parks, including taking the beginning steps of developing more walking and bike trails. It's also our goal to, to use science to establish and implement a more data-driven approach in traffic, to crime and traffic safety in our police department. In the fire department, leaders are working to achieve a fire extinguisher training program for businesses in the city, and there will continue to be an effort to expand our fire prevention activities. We are also developing new ways to dialogue with community groups and hope to expand those programs in 2019. Despite all the forward progress that we've made, it is imperative we embrace the growth and momentum we see to make Lebanon's future even brighter. The city and our partners at Lebanon Regional Economic Development and Corporation are moving forward with an innovative approach, increasing our housing stock. This plan falls in line with the council's focus, focus of making sure economic forces know Lebanon is open for business. And our city, business, and workforce development is a high priority. Housing studies have noted a deficit in affordable homes and the number of available housing units in the $100,000 to $200,000 range. We have more than 400 lots in the city ready for construction today, many of which are left over from the nation, nationwide housing crash of 2007. Council, with the pass of passing the resolution 442 in February, which would have been this last Monday if I had delivered this in February, but uh, in February, they, um, council and I are making a priority to provide housing for our great workforce with incentives to begin moving dirt within the, this 12 month period here and see a new stock of homes available within two years. These incentives will also focus on the redevelopment of existing structures as well. As I mentioned earlier in 2018, we completed a direction finder survey. Survey. Our residents rated the customer service provided by our city staff as superior, an achievement rare in most cities. And I want to give them a round of applause again. This I believe their rating was around 84, and the guy that uh, that conducted the survey for us, the company said the nationwide average was around 65 or something. So, and for a community of our size to get an 84 was, was unheard of. You never had heard of a community that high. So, and that goes to our city staff. The areas, of our, the areas our citizens are asked to focus on included the flow of traffic and managing congestion, congestion, maintenance of city streets and facilities and enforcement of city codes and ordinances. We heard your call to action and we are working on solutions. Our street division is conducting studies looking for alternate ways to reduce the traffic during rush hour on Jefferson. Plans are underway, um, and we actually approved this a, a couple of council meetings ago for the realignment of Springfield Road in hopes of creating an alternate route for locals to move easier around the city. <clears throat> and we are working with MoDOT, you may have seen them out on Jefferson, to better synchronize our, our traffic lights and create <coughs> an optimal flow of traffic. With the approval, uh, approval of the capital improvement tax, you have provided the mandate that will allow us to maintain our facilities. With that revenue in place, we are formulating long-term solutions to keep our facilities in good shape 
and be able to improve them as we go. The council is also working with our code enforcement officials to empower and provide a variety of tools to improve safety in Lebanon and increase the attractiveness of our city. We actually passed those last Monday at a council meeting on uh, uh, redoing our nu nuisance ordinances. Uh, that was kind of the first step in getting that process going. The survey also demonstrated to us the desire for greater dialogue and communication with the public. And we have listened. The city has increased our presence on social media. We have worked to provide more frequent information to our media partners. We have launched the text messaging system and have held several town hall meetings and community engagement events. And we will strive continually to increase our communications in the future. Lebanon has a rich and beautiful history and this city truly does live up to the motto of friendly people, friendly place. Our citizens' love of their city and their neighbors is what makes this place people want to call home. Countless people work behind the scenes for countless hours and countless ways to mentor our children, meet the needs of the less fortunate, beautify our community, and celebrate our history. These volunteers are the backbone of our city and the truth behind our motto. In 2019, began a tradition of celebrating our citizens and the ones who tires, tirelessly invest in our community. And this past April 8th, on the past Monday, I presented the first ever Mayor's Award for Volunteer Service, the Gold Leaf Award, to two deserving citizens of our community who have, who have sacrificially given to our city. Gracie Carroll received the Youth Award with over 600 hours of volunteer service, and Carol Miller received the Adult Award for her work at the Lebanon chapter of the American Red Cross. If we continue to embrace this service and partnership, Lebanon will continue, no doubt, to thrive. So now that we've reflected on the success of the last year and looking forward to an even greater day in our city, I want to call on you to find ways to partner with us and help us improve, improve our city. Join a board, attend a city council meeting. Without your continuous input, we would not be where we we're at today. It is in the spirit of partnership, progress, and care of our fellow man that we can continue moving forward for success. Fellow citizens, our, bright, our future is bright and the state of our city is strong. Thank you for being here today. Thank you.